you will be practicing for the Georgia Milestones State Assessment. To do this, boot up a Chromebook, but do not sign in. Go to the bottom left-hand corner and choose the button that says Apps. At the top of the list, you will see DRC Insight Online Assessments. This is what you will do each morning when you come to school to take the Georgia Milestone State Assessments. You'll click on Apps and then DRC Insight Online Assessments. This takes you to the Online Assessments Welcome page. From here, you are going to choose Georgia. Now you are in the Georgia Milestones Assessment System platform. Today, we are going to be practicing for the End of Grade, or EOG, assessment. On testing days, under EOG, you will choose Test Sign-In. But today we are just practicing, so you will choose Online Tools Training. Choose EOG Test Practice, and here you will see a variety of things that you can practice today. We are going to practice two different items. Today we're going to be looking at the standard online tools. This will help you review the different tools you can use while taking the test, which were just referenced in the video you watched during E&D. Lastly, we will be looking at technology enhanced items. This is going to help you review the different types of questions you might see while testing. Let's start with standard online tools. Once you choose standard online tools, you will be prompted to choose your grade level. Choose grades six through eight. This will take you to a sign in page. You will notice that conveniently, the username and password you need to use to sign in is listed above the sign in. Go ahead and just copy the sign in, username and password. Please note that the username and password are both case sensitive. So make sure to use a capital G and a capital T. And just like testing day, you will be taken through the various steps to get to your test. You'll see your welcome page. You'll click on the test that you're taking. And then lastly, it will take you to a modified set of directions. Your teacher on test day will be reading an expanded set of directions while you go through the sign-in process. This would be a great time to review the various tools together as a class. Once you get through these, you will see the option to begin the test. It will then take you to example questions so you can practice using the various online tools. The practice test starts off with ELA questions, but as you go through the platform, you will notice that you will also have questions to practice for your math assessments. Once you are finished practicing using the online tools, click on Review and Test. Then you will click on End Test and Submit. Lastly, you will choose Exit. This will take you back to the sign-in screen. Make sure you click on Back and then you want to click on EOG Test Practice one more time because don't forget, we do want to look at the technology enhanced items. Once you click on technology enhanced items, choose all grades. And again, you will be asked 
to sign in using a username and password that are listed above. So make sure you use the capital G in Georgia and a capital T for training. And just like before, you will be taken to the welcome page and you will go through all of the prompts to get you to the actual test data. Once you go through the directions, you will have the option to begin the test. And this is where you'll review the different types of questions you might see during the Georgia Milestones State Assessment. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me, Ms. Talent.